So hey guys, um, there's a quick tutorial to show how to set up a proxy server in Google Chrome. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So if I go to HTTP bin.org slash IP, you will see my current proxy, uh, so current IP address that my system, my network is on. And if I want to change this, this I am not using a proxy right now. Um, if I want to change this, um, I can always come back and check over here. I need a proxy server IP and a port. So proxy server typically routes all the requests through its uh, IP address. Uh, so you can use this to spoof being in a different country, blah, blah, blah. Um, typically, this is given to you by your system administrator if you're inside a company. Um, or if you're an individual, you would have already gotten it from one of the VPN service providers or from one of the free proxy server lists online. If you just Google free proxy servers, you will get a ton of them, right? Uh, once you have that, you go to open Chrome and go and click on Chrome and click on preferences. And all you have to do is go scroll down, go to advanced, and you'll see a bunch of these options. Keep going till you find the system as an option. And you'll see open computer, uh, your computer's proxy settings. So click on that. This opens the system dialog really and and directly takes you through to the proxies, the easier way to reach this. Otherwise, this has got actually nothing to do with Chrome. This is the Apple um, Mac system uh, proxy setting, Wi-Fi setting. So it takes you to the proxies tab inside your networks tab. So there you can, this is what you're looking for is a web HTTP proxy. You're going to check this and put the IP address here. So it could be 66.77.88.99 and typically whatever the port is 8080 or something. And if mostly requires a password, so you need to put your username and password that you've been given over here. Uh, you also want to do the same for um, secure web proxy, HTTPS proxy, because uh, otherwise you will uh, you will have issues. Mostly, uh, HTTPS traffic is is what you need to get. Even YouTube, for example, is HTTPS tra traffic. Some are SOX proxy. Sometimes they give you a SOX proxy. Uh, SOX proxy is. Uh, does everything including non HTTP like non browsing activities like messenger and stuff like that. So if you've been given, given the socks proxy, you should put the same thing over here and all of them have, it might be different proxies or the same proxies. Uh, by default, if you're confused, just use the web uh, proxy and then see if it works and then come and put in the HTTPS proxy. So I'm going to unset this now because I don't have one to put, um, and so once you've done that, you just say OK, and it'll save it and then apply. OK, so right now it's not enabled for me because I didn't do anything. And once you do this, go back to HTTP bin.org slash IP, and you should note down the previous IP that's there, and it should have changed over here. So for me, it wouldn't have changed, so it'll still remain 246. So that's how you change it.